What up, Sam fam? It's me, Sam. Back on the scene and looking clean if I DSSMS. If you're like me, you want to make sure you're using all the latest and greatest guitar techniques. There's nothing more embarrassing than thinking you're sounding like a guitar god, when in reality, you're using old, outdated techniques from like last year. I know what you're thinking, hey, Sam, how do I know which techniques are on the cutting edge and which I need to retire from my guitar playbook forever? Forever. As your guitar ambassador, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on the five hottest guitar techniques to use in 2021. And I know 2021 is basically over now, so you better get started fast. Now before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I create amazing content and it's just not right to not subscribe. It's actually kind of immoral. Also, I'm gonna need you to slide your mouse over to that bell and give it a pop. It's really more of a command than something I'm asking you to do. Number five, block chords. 2020 truly was the year of the arpeggiated chord. Whether it was slow rolling motifs or blazing fast finger picking patterns, nobody wanted to be caught dead playing notes at the same time. But as soon as 2020 rolled around, you had guitarists like Lucas Brar, Beyond the Guitar, and Brandon Acker all ditching those arpeggiations in favor of their more blocky cousin. something powerful about block chords, and it makes sense that a year of relative powerlessness would be followed by a year where guitarists felt the need to regain control and regain power. So for 2021, make sure you don't arpeggiate anything and play every note at the same time. Number four, cross string trills. I can't tell you how many times I did single string trills in 2020. But in 2021, that's all over. There's nothing like the feeling of playing a cross string trill. Having those notes ring out over each other, not having to have your left hand wiggle around like an idiot. It honestly always embarrassed me to play normal single string trills. No, dude. No. No. Let me ask you something. If you were walking down the street and you saw somebody doing this, you would think that person was weird and you would walk away from them. And you should. Now let me ask you another question, even though my last question wasn't really a question. You're walking down that same street and you see someone do this. You would for sure want to be homies with that dude. They're just cooler, which is why I'm only doing cross string trills. Cross string trills in 2021. Number three, free strokes. Guys, there's a reason free strokes never want out of style. They're simply incredible. What's the number one value in this country? Freedom. Now, do you want to be a slave to your adjacent strings? No, you don't. Liberate yourself and play only free strokes this year. It's by far the most patriotic guitar technique. And here's something that's actually interesting that I'm about to say that I don't even know if is true or not, which is that Manuel Barroweco didn't even use rest strokes, he did all free strokes. And that dude is an absolute legend. He made notes sound loud just by playing them harder. I don't even know how that makes sense. I do rest strokes all the time. It's like one of the main things I do. This is gonna be a big change for me. I honestly wish I didn't even have to make this change. But it's more than halfway through 2021 and rest strokes are just not in style. I look like an idiot. Nobody's gonna wanna watch my videos if I do rest strokes. I hate 2021. I wish it was 2020 again, dude. Oh. Number two, natural harmonics. You should only be doing the natural harmonics. The 12th fret, the seventh fret, the fifth fret. These are all great frets. Everyone loves these frets. That's where it's at and that's it. Also, think about all the work you have to put into artificial harmonics. They're like high maintenance and it's just too hard. And people are realizing this. You gotta use your right hand and next finger to touch this like specific spot on the string. And then you gotta hold the note down with your left hand. And then you gotta pluck the note. You know, you ain't got it. You don't even have room. You gotta pluck the note with that, that A finger. Oh, no thanks, man. Just give me those naturals. You'd honestly be hard pressed to find a single guitar player across all different types of guitar playing who have done a single artificial harmonic in 2021. And if you do, 
It's probably because they recorded that video in 2020 and procrastinated and uploaded it in 2021. You guys ready for the number one guitar technique of 2021? Because you can't spell 2021 without number one, rest strokes. I realized while making the third thing in this list that it would be really hard for me to stop doing rest strokes because I do them so much. That will be a lot of work for me, guys. It's like a really important part of how I bring melodies out and stuff. And so for 2021, I'm gonna go ahead and say rest strokes are the most important technique. What you guys have to realize is that rest strokes are just much, much cooler than free strokes. You get so much volume out of strings in 2021 if you just use those rest strokes like I'm talking about. All the fastest and raddest licks that Grisha Gorviacek, whatever, however you say it, all of his licks, he plays rest stroke, dude. You should check out his channel. He's amazing. But that's besides the point. Just make sure you do as many rest strokes this year as possible. Because they're extremely cool, and honestly, free strokes is pale in comparison, you guys. Guys, that's my hottest techniques for 2021. I'm so happy I was able to make you guys realize how to not look like an absolute idiot for the rest of this year. I'm sorry I didn't upload this sooner. But honestly, I had to learn all these techniques myself. And that's the kind of work that I do. Research, development, practice. I practice all the time for you guys for this channel. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel, guys. Oh, wait. I think I forgot that the actual most important technique of 2021 is for you to subscribe to my channel. How else are you going to figure out the greatest techniques of 2022 unless you subscribe?